me nua da fo me da se piece e o click video e so na na wo hwe me e video e se na ne da di kan a me patch o subscribe na fa notification bell na so to so na ye no aduane we nyina mbo so guys i'm going to have some um contemporary leaves right here So guys, this is typically organic cocoyam leaves, okay? So what goes is that you pick up the middle one, okay? The one that stands in the middle, that's the one you're going to pick. So guys, these are all the cocoyam leaves I have at this moment. I'm going to wash it and clean it and use it to cook, okay? Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rhoda and I make videos on recipes and gardening. Subscribe to this channel and be part of this beautiful family. So today guys, I'm going to make a delicious recipe. And you all you have to do is just stay in tune with me, just sit down, cross your feet, and let's get started. Okay, so I just harvested some cocoyam leaves and I'm gonna use it to make a delicious sauce. And I'm gonna add in some cabbage and other delicious things. So, guys, let's get started. These are my um, cocoyam leaves, I have washed it and cut it neatly. And this is my cabbage. I have also cut it and washed it. I have a soak in vinegar. And this is my onions and peppers. And I have ginger also. And I have some herbs that I'm going to be using also. And that is oregano, onion seed, dill leaf, rosemary, and some cardamom seed. And I'm going to use my... Um, Paste. The one I have is the Tasty Tom, okay? And I have some oil here, garlic, and I have some shrimp powder. I'll be adding in other ingredients too, so when it comes closer, I will mention them so that you take note of that as well. I'm going to add in some oil, and I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes. Whilst my oil is frying, I'm going to blend all these ingredients together. So guys, I have my oil heated up and I'm added, I added in some onions. I'm going to fry it for some few minutes. And then I'm going to add in my tomato paste. So guys, I do it this way so that I can get rid of the um, tasty, um, the tomato taste behind the you know the sauce after you're done with your tomatoes okay so that's the trick when i'm doing stew and i'm using tomato paste okay so after frying the tomato for a few minutes i just added in my blended ingredients so these ingredients include the um, onions pepper ginger and the herbs that I stated earlier on in this video. So, you know, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to say, 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 I'm me chire o video ni mno. No ma blendi ni ina na me di a gum. Na eno su ma kanfra. Si me kanfra yue ye na me mani nwa kakwa no. 
and as you see, I made him a con to me no so a day a gum and to make him also a friend, my man and my kakura. So, guys, what I just stated is that after frying your tomatoes for some few minutes and your onions, you then let it cook for about 10 minutes and then you add in your um chopped um cocoyam leaves. Yeah, so guys, I added that earlier before uh, because if you don't do that, your cocoyam leaves is not going to cook really well. And if it doesn't cook really well and you eat it, you're, you're going to have some <laughs> itch in the mouth. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that these leaves, if you don't cook them well, when you, after eating it, your mouth is going to be itching, okay? so you don't want that so you want to make sure it's well cooked okay so i'm giving it a stay here and let it cook for some few minutes before i add in my cabbage so you'll cook it for about like 15 minutes okay so after 15 minutes i'm just adding in my cabbage yes guys so my cabbage is well washed and it's also um taking care of so now i'm adding it in so that i can have a tasty and delicious stew so and you know what contour you know every area now what they will cabbage you know and then i will come on cabbage now what you channel what do you come on what do you go more now and also what kind of fry for fair fair now i will fry you know a bad together aha uh -huh. into no overman and one for about five to ten minutes now what they were near my account so it's into the middle room to see a shrimp powder so guys after letting it cook for some few minutes you add in some ingredients of your choice so right now I just added in some shrimp powder okay and you can add in any spices or season of your choice okay and right now i'm adding in some um smoke mackerel okay in general what the was shrimp powder no gumne adi a person do gumu we are and i'm also a person or the car for now they are car home into where yeah and i'm not your friend or gonna have some or no but in a bro for the uh, macro right into no a real me real and also no and i made it your friend is saying a can macro so a day a gumu aha uh -huh. to make a fry to fair fair into uh, guys after i added in my smoke mackerel i'm i added in some can um uh mackerel as well so this is how my stew looks came out beautiful and looks so healthy if you watch this video to this point, I so much appreciate it and God richly bless you. So I'll share for you be doing some paper. So yeah, may that sing I mean shower. Bon hope I be share be you. Bye.